Right now, some say people are reporting a complaint and are listing a name and email address that doesn't belong to them. 10 Investigation of Hurtitis informing us tonight how it could belong to you. So what really drew us to this neighborhood was that it's so close to a lot of what Tampa has to offer. Realtor Jason Poppy knows a good house when he sees it. We're about a mile or two from downtown, a mile or two from the action that Water Street offers. He's flipped a few houses. So that's really what kind of amped us up about getting over into this area. He's getting a name for knowing the real estate market. Finding out what, a, what properties would be available for us to come in and kind of put our spin on. But recently, he says he's been getting a bad name. We actually started getting calls um, from pretty upset contractors, investors, homeowners, um, because I'm in that line of work myself. All because he says somebody has been using his name to fill out code enforcement complaints at least 87 times. I called the city, brought it to their attention, spoke with a representative from intake uh, on these complaints, and she informed me that she had seen them coming in in my name at a rate of six to eight per week now for a few months. So I pleaded with her to, you know, get her to stop. Hey, you know, this, these aren't me. I'm not filing these, please stop. They never stopped, and the phone calls from angry homeowners thinking he was complaining about their property didn't either. People saying sales of homes didn't go through because of a code violation they thought he submitted. Day to day, you know, I go outside to walk my dog, and I'm almost paranoid now, looking over my shoulder. Maybe someone's upset with me. Maybe someone lost a lot of money. Here's the thing. We know he's not the only one this is happening to. We went through the thousands of complaints that came into the city of Tampa's code enforcement line and found repeated names and email addresses. One of those email addresses was mine, and I don't even live in the city of Tampa, but somebody used it to complain about a business more than a dozen times. That business started calling me just like what happened to Jason Poppy. The whole thing was a mess. I found more and more information, more and more information, and it's just it's skyrocketed into a whole pretty much fraudulent operation they're doing with using people's names. Julia McGill says she has been paying attention to this mess after she contacted Jason for a friend who had said he filed a code complaint on his property. I think there should be some kind of a third party authorization. I mean, you know, when we go to log into a credit card, we have to get a text on our phone, something like that. Um, that would solve them using somebody else's name. And after 10 investigates brought this to her attention, Representative Diane Hart says that's something her office is now looking into. I think that is really important that if they're going to do it, they need to verify and have a mechanism in place. Two years ago, lawmakers passed Senate Bill 60, which no longer allowed someone filing a code enforcement violation to do so anonymously. But as the system is set up now, anyone can type in any name, any email address, and hit submit. There's no verification system in place to confirm the identity. It's something that we should seriously take a look at because it could be very, very dangerous. We do whatever we can to make the property look better and appeal better. As for Jason Poppy, he says the only way he will feel better is when the loophole that's put him front and center is closed. I think that the system that they have in place now is, is flawed. I think that if something like this can happen to someone, it can happen again. And it can cause harm or uh, danger to a local family. Jennifer Titus, 10 Investigates. We reached out to the city of Tampa for comment about how they are handling code enforcement complaints. They declined to talk to us on camera, but they did tell us if Jason was to file a complaint in the future, they would need to be see an authorization of his identity.